I honestly don't know what to say. Uh... You see, God is not asking me to save the whole world. I can't do it. I can't reach everyone. I'm not even trying to. But each of you can reach your families, can reach your classmates, can reach your colleagues in the office, can reach the person that is sitting beside you in the bus, can reach the cabman that is driving you home. Each of you can be an instrument of change in God's hand. Welcome back news, what's up, what's cooking, it's your girl Faithy, aka Pineapple Lagos, aka Pineapple, and I'm back, of course, with another video. So, let me get comfortable. This will not take a while, hopefully, but... Thing is, I know what I want to say, but then... It's how to compose it. I've been thinking about it since how many days, how to compose it, but then... Let's just start. So... Starting on the recap of this year, this year has been a lot, and I mean a lot in a good and a bad way, basically. Um, I've met new people, I've met new characters, I've met new personalities, yeah? I've learned and unlearned so many things this year. I mean, starting from January, where I came into school, and then... Because I'm part of the volleyball and basketball team, and then I was meant to go to for Nunga as a volleyballer, but then volleyball player rather, but then stuff happened which I know about, and then someone advised me to join the basketball team because apparently the basketball team was more legit and stuff. I was like, okay, I've not played basketball in so long, and I was scared, and <laughs> that was how opportunity like that too, and you know I joined the female basketball team. They recently, 100 levels recently resumed, and then we had scholarship students, like sports students, basically. So we formed a team, and then we started training, and it was from training to training. I feel like there's no need for me to even start narrating how the my 2021 went, 2022 sorry went, <laughs> because I have a dump basically. This is my Instagram page for you to just access like a summary of how it has been since in school and being away from the internet. You know, having to read, focus, and so many things on your plates. You get, but I feel like one thing, one major thing I learned was that no matter what I do everything falls back to god and i feel like a lot of people try to ignore that but then it's inevitable there is a psalm that i love so much the psalm talks about how god has written every single one of our days in his books if god has written every single day that i will ever live down then it must mean that if I am to fulfill my destiny or to walk in God's will, every day I have to ask him what his plan is for me. And it's not just enough to know what God wants us to do. We have to obey what he's saying or what he's asking us to do for us to actually get those results or for us to arrive where he wants us to be. I was or... I, I I was giving birth into a Christian home basically. So it's like maybe for me to start searching for people who are not Christians in my family, I have to go like down, down, maybe like great great grandchildren, like sorry, great great grandparents or something like that. And nobody has a time to start checking for history, like that kind of jigger. But like down from my great grandparents to my grandma, to my grandparents, the ones that died to parents now and my family and you know loved ones we've all been christian there's no nobody that is a muslim or an atheist or anything so i was basically brought up in that christian home despite the fact that none of us except someone on my mom's side as a pastor and all so it was like i was already introduced into the christian doctrine very early but then of course that doesn't mean you're born again immediately so fast forward i gave my life to christ on the this is not a salvation story this is leading to what i'm going to talk about basically i gave my life to christ 
in gss1 i think it was in january there about i don't know why i can't remember i feel like i feel so bad i feel so bad when i see people they're like oh this was the month this is the day that i get and i'm like i'm so sorry i didn't record it but i have a feeling it was either 2013 or 2014 but i knew i was in gss1 because i was still will i say ripe or i was still so innocent i wasn't exposed to the world yet and i literally even had a vision for my life and everything already at that point <laughs> and i had a god-given gift i'm not talking about my talent sexy no, no, no. i mean i used to see things before they happen and i feel like i was the one who used my own hands to chase it away because i don't i i, mean, I don't know if i still do but it was like really evident then and then one thing people don't understand is that the best time to teach people stuff is when they're still children like toddlers and everything because i feel like if i had known then that that was a not fruit of the spirit per se but that was a um i don't know but that was from the holy spirit a gift from the holy spirit maybe i'd have utilized utilized it more and i would have been careful how i was saying it because it was like when something happened when something happens and i saw it and then literally would see it clear as a, a vision i would now be like oh something told me this was going to happen and it now became a joke and everybody was always using it to make just of me and so today that thing pained me because it was when i grew up when i think i left secondary school i entered university i found out or let's say around ss3 i found out that that thing was actually you know something it was the holy spirit that was showing me that thing and i was angry because i didn't know so much about the relationship with like holy spirit and all that so when i entered biu she gets so i feel like my life has just been so spiritual that even sometimes i don't even take note of when it happens my whole life is spiritual, my entire life. Because, you see, God is not a part of my life. He's my entire life. Fast forward again. I've obviously been through trials, I've been through tribulations, not like the kind that, okay, maybe Nigerian adults be like, ah, you have to hustle, you have to do this. I think you guys are my age, you understand what I'm saying? But I've been through things that I cried about, I've battled with stuff and finally skipping all of that i stumbled and it's, it's, this isn't even a stumble because i had been following her page or knowing that i did not even subscribe <laughs> i didn't even subscribe then i had been following her page earlier this year i don't know if it was also last year but i had been following that was the same way i also you know started following Tom, tommy care because the first time i followed tommy care sorry to digress that was 2020 yeah it was 2020 it was 2019 i first stumbled across to Mikke's page on youtube she was talking about marriage and everything and i was like ah this man is fine this is the next time again that was around may 2020 and then i saw and i was like oh, this is the same person and then i started following her and since then i've been in love with lori b so fast forward um i stumbled upon izzy nazar earlier this year i'm going to put her channel and i'm pretty sure some people are very familiar with her already but I stumbled upon her page and i fell in love with her already but then i did not connect then and i feel like god had a reason for it because i i started my reflections for the part for this year quite early but i was like just, just struggling i just knew that no matter what i just had i just sat down sat myself on, down one day and i was like when i came home and i was like see no matter what you do this media stuff you're not going to be satisfied with it it was like from one complaint to another like for myself the way i would criticize myself i wasn't happy with my inconsistency and i knew it wasn't my fault because i know i had so much challenges editing trying to have network have good wi-fi find the right time to you know edit to film because i'm a student i am in school you get and my main priority is my academics you get so it was a lot it was hectic and i just gave up and i just knew that no matter what it won't be as perfect as i want it to be and you know the issue of putting out the content i want to put like now the school content i recently put i should have put like part two part three and finished it and then entered when i resumed school because i vlogged all of that and i have them and i started editing and i finished one of the edits already but then circumstances just come up and it doesn't happen so i was like okay you know what i think this there is one thing i haven't just tried and that was letting it go i had been telling god to help me surrender to him without actually surrendering and according to the dictionary surrender means let's go basically i'll put the, the, the dictionary meaning here surrendering is you're washing your hands off it and 
he, he not say surrender just over your academics or over your sports or, or over, over your, you know just your social media life he said surrender everything over everything i don't know if that makes sense surrender everything to him like everything like even the little things the holy spirit cares i've learned so much this year i feel like this year was the year for my spiritual growth and i've known since i was a youngling that god wants to use me but i was like jonah who was always running away jonah who at the end of the day still went to nineveh you know to do god's work he was being stubborn and i've been like that but then i got to a point around 2021 and then i was like okay let me start slowing down see i can't run away forever and then i did but then and i now realized the one thing that was stopping me and i feel like it's stopping a lot of christians from doing what they truly want to do or sorry d- doing what god has truly told them to do because they have heard his voice but then they keep on saying they're not sure they're not sure they're scared is the devil speaking it's not the devil speaking my dear so he's really talking to you it's fear fear and lack of trust and where does lack of trust come from it comes from not having faith it's one thing to trust god to give you something or to do something it's another thing entirely to trust god through something or to continue trusting god when he's not giving you what you want when everything around you is shaking and you just do not understand what is going on i told myself this year i unconsciously said that i wanted to understand my name more my name is faith but i knew there was like so much more to that when i started the thing the hebrews 11 verse 1 girl lady it was from basically speaking of like my name like faith is a sub is the god <laughs> faith is the substance of things hoped for and things not seen i hope i am correct it's my name how i don't know the definition but yeah but then god has been has just showed me so far throughout this year that it's like no it's not just that do you get i feel like yes the i was doing good in trusting him but i wasn't doing good enough in the sense that i would trust him and then i wouldn't so it was like a bumpy ride where oh i had faith in him and then after a while my my doubts start rising and you know and then i'll forget and I kept on asking God, how do you want me to reflect? How do you want me to reflect? I don't know what to do. And then finally, finally, it was even yesterday, I reflected and I just said, let me go back to the beginning of, because I have a Bible journal and I wasn't using it every time funny enough. I went back and I realized that every single thing I wrote, even including the Azusa program I went for in July, everything was connected. Everything was enough to reassure me that God has a plan for me ahead of time and he's going to do wonders. Like, there's this thing I do, it's not even I do, it's what I have received. And it's like, when I see death, what's it called, news around, and because I do not know how to handle the news of death, I keep on reminding myself that you have received this thing from the Holy Spirit, that you're not, the time is not now. You have a lot, you have a purpose to serve on this earth. God is going to use you to the fullest. You will reach your prime and you would grow old and you would mature and you would manifest in so many beautiful ways i mean i've had prophecies and all the prophecies are linked do you understand so i just keep on marveling at god every day because i'm like i i sin and he still chooses me he chooses me or he still chose me whichever one and i'm like what kind of love can be greater than that and that's why it, it's hard for me to phantom when people say they do not love god I've been in a situation like that before, trust me. I've been in a situation where I almost gave up. I was like, I want I, I want to be an atheist. I'm tired. Why is God like this? But then, even with that, he still didn't leave me. And that's the faithfulness that we're talking about. Still boils down back to faith. The scripture I want to read to you is um, John chapter 16, verse 33. Jesus is speaking and he says, I have told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. I think the challenge is when Christians have been taught that 
um, the main preoccupation of God is to make them happy and the main preoccupation of God is to give them everything that they want which actually teaches us to wait on the Lord it encourages us to seek out the will of the Lord and to align our lives to it and to walk in it faithfully so do you understand it's like this year was the year of beginning of the understanding of my purpose and so finally when back to the in just when I I talked to God and I told him I just want you to just take over and I mean every single thing like I mean people know how much I love God this is a there, there were a few situations where like even when maybe my, my an acquaintance would give me you know or my G would send me TikTok and I didn't like the song and I'm like I don't I want a situation where the person would not want to be want to send this kind of content for me to do because they know that this is not my thing do you understand what I'm saying anyways I was saying if I was interrupted by my friends <laughs> so basically i'll try to be fast because of time because i need to go for customer service soon and um so i just told god i just want you to just take over i i just want people to not see me i want people to see you when they see me it's, it's even i started it from when i was performing on stage because i'm part of the choir in my school i'm like when i'm leading or when i'm singing i don't want people to hear my voice i want people to hear the holy spirit let it be like something just renewed in their spirit when I sang. Do you get? And and I believe it has been working because God is, you know, flowing through me and just doing so many wonderful things. And I know 2023 is going to be <laughs> blessings upon blessings of testimonies of manifestations. But yeah. So I s- the Holy Spirit, I just went to his in I just saw her page all of a sudden. I didn't even search. This one I was just on my you know how TikTok has FYP, YouTube like that. I just went on my home screen and I just saw his in his hour and I tapped it and the video it was a video I would definitely put in between my video and it was about not worrying and how worrying kind of delays what God wants you to do not like God would stop or something but it's basically a bible verse that I feel like everybody knows it says God knows the hair the amount of hair on your head he takes care of the birds and the plants and the trees yet you think you of all people or a human being that is this big and everything jesus will now say oh let me just leave her alone like no like if he knows the amount of hairs on your head do you know how like how significant that is i genuinely cannot count that's the truth of the matter but if he knows yeah that's a big deal and she was just talking about how she she doesn't she had she was always worrying the things she has now she was worrying about it when she was in university which was the period i am now because i'm in my university stage and she would always worry because she was broke by the time she finished university she didn't have a job early when she was living alone she was lonely so many things and she didn't even want marriage yet god said for me for you to do what i want you to do you have to get married it, it has been so like there's so much to say but because i'm running out of time to you know go to service so yeah so basically to round it up i the holy spirit dropped something in my spirit and said you have to start this series the holy spirit dropped in my spirit and the title is the struggles of a christian teenage sorry the struggles of a christian I've forgotten. I've forgotten now because my friends have decided to just wreck my video. Oh God, this is not a Christian teenager. Um, the struggles of a Christian young adult. I would have already even put it by the time I figured it out. But yeah, struggles of a Christian young adult. I'm still going to be doing my other types of videos that I started the YouTube channel with. But now I just want the audience to now know that this is not my channel. It is God's channel. He is the one taking over you get hi guys so basically i decided to continue from or with a voice note because i just felt it's it's a bit better and i really didn't want to do it sit down anymore so i just thought it would be different so back to what i was saying the theme or the topic of the series is the struggles of a christian young adult and the reason why i termed it as a young adult is because for starters the host which is i me 
I'm a young adult, basically. Secondly, teen, a term, targeting it as a teenage um, thing is basically restricting it to the ages of 13 to 17. And I feel like the battles that we face nowadays before we even become, we enter the, re, the main part of adulthood is like between the ages of let's say 16 to at least 21 but it is not restricted to that age it is the ages of 13 or 12 so even 30 years old is what it's the is the main target audience because now the the century we are in the times we are in even people that are way younger than what we expect are being exposed to all sorts of things that they are not meant to be exposed to and i have been led by the holy spirit led by god to do this to talk about things that are relatable to the everyday life of a youngling or the everyday life of a young adult you know things that people experience both in public and in private that they can talk about that they cannot also talk about that they cannot freely express do you get so yeah of course the series is starting as something small but then as we grow it will be bigger the whole point is to feature people around my age and definitely people older that have gone through so many experiences and are also led by the spirit led by god to talk about their experiences you know? i would also like to note that i will still be making the other kind of videos i have always wanted to make and the vlogs i have been filming from time to time but then now my channel will be will be mainly featured on this series so the other type of videos i have been making would be an aside meaning i would still be making it but not every time or it wouldn't be the first thing that would appear on my channel you know basically i would still be making educational videos i would still be making vlogs singing covers dancing so many things but now everything is still going to be centered on my faith you know because my life is in christ now or well, my life has always been in christ but i have made made a choice not to be lukewarm anymore and this is also what the series is featuring about basically it's all about the i feel like there's such a stereotype that people have been talking about and people are still not have been talking about like it's ignored but at the same time it's not ignored like we need to understand that even as a christian people go through things the whole point of being a christian doesn't exactly mean that every day would be rosy you we still have struggles we still have things we deal with we still have people different characters that we meet every day that we have to handle and we have to handle in a certain way because we know jesus christ would not talk like that or don't think like that or you know in a certain manner that kind of thing so as the spirit leads so will the videos be flowing but yeah that's basically like the summary of it we don't get to determine how this story turns out we don't get to choose how our story pans out the only thing we can do at every point in time is to find out what god is doing and to be where he is doing that thing Interrupting my video. Mama so And I'm coming. Ah, oh, God, guy. Please now, beg you. So I came up with. Sorry, I didn't come up with. The only.